This is the Sabbath School lesson for the fourth quarter, 2021. Lesson 13 from our series Present Truth in Deuteronomy is titled The Resurrection of Moses, ready for teaching on December 25, and I'm Percy Harold. Sabbath afternoon, December 18. Before we start, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that as we come to this last lesson in the series from the book of Deuteronomy, as we look at the life and death and resurrection of Moses, and as during this week around the world so many people's eyes are turned to the birth and life of Jesus, that your Holy Spirit will guide us as we open your word. We pray that not only will we gain information, but that we will more fully understand who you are, what you are like, and what you want for us. Because we know that in sending your Son Jesus, each of us has the opportunity for not just eternal life, but to be with you forever. Bless us now as we open your word, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our memory text this week is Jude verse 9. Yet Michael the archangel, in contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. Let's read that again. Jude verse 9. Yet Michael the archangel, in contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. As we've seen all quarter, Moses is a central mortal in Deuteronomy. His life, his character, his messages pervade the book. Though, yes, Deuteronomy is about God and his love for Am Yisrael, the people of Israel, God often used Moses to reveal that love, and to speak to his people, Israel. Now, as we come to the end of the quarter, the end of our study of Deuteronomy, we also come to the end of Moses' life, at least his life here. As Ellen G. White expressed it, Moses knew that he was to die alone. No earthly friend would be permitted to minister to him in his last hours. There was a mystery and awfulness about the scene before him from which his heart shrank. The severest trial was his separation from the people of his care and love, the people with whom his interest and his life had so long been united. But he had learned to trust in God, and with unquestioning faith he committed himself and his people to his love and mercy. Patriarchs and Prophets, page 470 and 71. As Moses' life and ministry revealed much about the character of God, so too does his death and resurrection. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind, and It Is Written. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. Remember, God is always faithful.